that's oscillator number one. Oscillator number two just has two knobs here. This one for frequency and this one for gain. So if we turn down oscillator two here, oscillator one rather, we could turn up. Now, oscillator two and oscillator one are, are linked together very closely by this joystick. Um, what they do is they frequency modulate one another. Um, frequency modulation with two audio signals can create really strange results, especially when they're doing it to each other. If you put it sort of in this corner, this one doesn't have much, the oscillator number one doesn't have much effect on oscillator number two. So, now what we can do is we can mess with frequency, and again, the gain. Really, really ugly. Now over here there's a photo cell. If it's if we're in the dark, this uh, LED on the gooseneck here can be used to uh, flashlight on the photo cell. And that just always stays on. So um, right now we're just listening to oscillator number two. And if we listen to both oscillator one and two together. Now remember I have the sequencer running into oscillator number one, so that's why we hear that really strange sequence sound. Now even if we turn down oscillator uh, number one all the way, you can still hear the sequencer, even though it's not controlling the second oscillator. That's because um, the second oscillator is being frequently frequency modulated, creating kind of this interesting sound that you hear. It really starts to glitch out. So again, these two knobs control the second oscillator. Here's our knob for that. And then it's being sent in the same way through the voltage field amplifier. Listen to the filter. Alright, our third, our A third input source is the mic, which is right here. The knob right next to the mic is for mic gain. That's the only really control you need to worry about for the microphone. So, we turn down all our... Gotta hear the mic um, being used. Now, right now I have um, my speakers really quiet, but it's really easy to get this microphone to feedback, um, especially when used with uh, the filter to create some resonance. Um, you can create some really interesting feedback uh, as you turn this up and down with the oscillators running. So give that a try. And then the two other input sources are the inputs on the side here. Right now I just have my guitar plugged in, so I'm going to just kind of show what that sounds like. Now, um, the two inputs, input one, here's the level knob here, and these two knobs control uh, input one. This one is the gain. It can get really, really loud and distorted. And this is the uh, low pass. Right. And what that does is it cuts out the high end. So if you have like a, a different input source, you can um, get it so that it uh, clips low end, which is a really like grumbling, nasty sound. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that if you turn up the gain all the way, it starts to pick up the oscillators and all kinds of noise. Um, that's because in the same way as the rate knobs, I've made it so that the gain knob has no limit. What you're doing when you're turning the gain knob all the way up is essentially telling the amplifier to um, amplify it an infinite number of times to make it as loud as it possibly can. And so the um, amplifier starts to oscillate because it becomes unstable. Um, and that's why we're hearing all these different sounds. Um, so that can be really useful. You can, uh, it's definitely a different timber. But and the uh, input number two is exactly the same. Uh, and I think that's just about everything. Uh, really quick about the um, the filter, I don't think I explained this. Let's just put this. So 
also back here on the filter. Turn up the resonance. But then this also has two controls for the LFO and for the um, sequencer. Here's the LFO. And that's modulating the cutoff frequency of the filter. And also the sequencer. And uh, the nice thing about the filter is that if you all the oscillators and the inputs are have pretty nasty amplifiers on them. So if you want like a, a really simple um, oscillation, a really simple frequency, you can just turn all of all of the sources down, turn up the resonance. You get it's basically a sine wave. It's just a really simple, nice. But you know who needs nice, right? Um, The last thing that I, I haven't mentioned is uh, with the voltage controlled amplifier. Let's turn this guy back. If you want the filter to do basically nothing, turn both of these knobs all the way down. Um, so let's see. So looking at the voltage controlled amplifier, um, we have gain, the miss bias I was telling you about. Uh, and that, that can create much more interesting stuff when lots of things are being turned up. Um, but also to note is that this knob controls the oscillator 2 mix, and that does ring modulation. Um, and amplitude modulates the, the incoming signal with, a, uh, with this oscillator here. That's a, another way to mix various sources. So you have a filter, which can be controlled by an LFO and a sequencer a voltage controlled amplifier which can turn into a ring modulator or just be used as a voltage controlled amplifier with an LFO. Um, but it also has the, the gain knob and the miss bias knob for really nasty distortion. Um, our mix knobs are here, our sequencer is controlled here, oscillator number two here controlled by the photo cell over here, and then over here input one gain and input one of uh, filter input two gain input two filter here's input one here and input two is right there um, here oscillator number one is controlled control for the LFO and the sequencer and the gain here and then here's for our LFO frequency and wave shape microphone and game. And that is the Frankenbox.